the teachers uh, so that we will be able to accommodate their questions. And as well as for us to have a smooth flow of the program. Here are the common issues or problems encountered during Zoom meeting and how we can solve it. For the first one, if the audio doesn't work, you, pro you have probably closed the window that opened before joining a meeting. Before joining the meeting, make sure to click join with the computer audio button. In case you forgot, you can select the join audio option in the lower left corner of the screen. At kung nakaka-experience naman po tayo ng lagging and performance issues, per, please check your internet connection. Most probably po ay unstable lang ating internet connection. You can consider moving to another network. If the error can't be fixed, kindly inform the Secretariat for assistance. Remember to stay calm and do not click anything repeatedly. Before we officially proceed to the program proper, I have heard said that there are some safety briefings that you want to tell us. Could you kindly uh, tell our participants about these safety briefings? All right. Of course, we want to ensure the safety of everyone. So here are some reminders um, in case of disasters. So in case of fire, are we ready? Of course, we have to keep calm and we have to know our fire exit. <laughs> And also, we have, kapag meron na po talagang sunog, we have to stop, don't run, and don't panic. And then we have to drop, lie down flat, and cover your face. And then roll, stay away from fire, evacuate, and seek medical attention. Thank you very much, Seds, for that very informative reminders. But how about if something like earthquake happens when we are at our homes and offices. Ano nga ba ang mga dapat nating tandaan? Are we all ready? Of course, we are all aware of the duck cover and hold. The very, first things that, the very first thing that we should do is to secure ourselves and find a safe place wherein we can be safeguarded from anything that could, that could fall down or collapse. When we have the opportunity to evacuate, we should find a safe place na kung saan ay hindi tayo uh, madadaganan ng kung anumang mga bagay tulad ng buildings, tulad ng puno, o kung ano pang mga, mga bagay na pwedeng makapag-cause ng injury sa atin. Of course, we should always remain calm. After an earthquake, be prepared for aftershocks and plan where you will take cover when they occur. At syempre, alam naman po natin lahat that, that, that the threat of the COVID-19 is still very imminent. Kaya po, we encourage everyone to become bida ang may disiplina. B, bawal ang mask. E, I, is sanitize ang kamay. B, dumistansya ng isang metro. At A, alamin ang katoong informasyon. Ayan, ang mga participants natin ngayon joining us via Zoom are our MLGOs and our LDRMOs. And I'm sure na aware naman na sila nito mga safety protocols. But of course, we still have to remind everyone, di ba? Tama ka dyan, Sedge. All right, I think that we are all ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the launching of the Disaster Preparedness Manual, Protocols for Volcanic Eruption. We now proceed to the program proper. At this point, uh, to, give, to acknowledge our participants for today's activity and to give us an overview, let us all welcome the Division Chief of the Local Government Capability Development Division, Ma Maria Rothel P. Gigantoka. A round of applause, please, and virtual clap for our Zoom participants. Good morning, everyone. So finally, we are here to launch our uh, volcanic eruption manual, which is the fruit of uh, the labor of our uh, experts from uh, the provinces of Sorsogon and uh, Albay. Okay, so let me acknowledge our um, guests for this morning's activity. Okay, from, of course, from our uh, regional office, we have with us our regional director, Attorney Anthony Sinoida. <laughs> And of course, our uh, OICARD, Sir Alderico Rasal. And representing the Office of Civil Defense Regional Director, Sir Claudio L. Yukot. We have with us 
Uh, Ma'am Carla Teya Omelan, Manlangit. And also, Ma'am Joya De La Rama, the planning officer of uh, OCD5. And we have with us um, from the, the head of the Sorsogon PDRM office from the provincial government of Sorsogon, in Engineer Raden Di Maano. And of course, we have also with us so, uh, via Zoom, uh, unfortunately, cannot be present uh, physically uh, for our activity. Uh, the head of the Albay Public Safety and Emergency Management Office of the Pro Provincial Government of Albay, Dr. Cedric D. Daep. And uh, may also acknowledge our uh, representative from the Volcanic Observatory of um, Bulusan Volcanic Observatory. We have Ma'am April Angelic Idomingiano. Yes. So good morning, everyone. Let me just share my screen. And also from Thank the... Yes, ma'am. Also, okay. our resident uh, volcanologist of the Al of Albay, we have Sir Paul Carlson Alanis. <laughs> and may I also acknowledge the presence of our representative from the local government academy, our assistant uh, director, Ma'am Esmeralda Daphne Pornell. And we have with us our provincial directors uh, from Sorsogon, um, PD Julius Cal Ortiz. And representing the uh, provincial director of Masbate, we have uh, LGO7, um, Leandro Gigantoka. And our uh, division chief of the LG Med, Sir Olivio D. Ramirez. And um, also, we, we would like to acknowledge all of those uh, who are attending via Zoom from the LGUs of the province of Albay. And of course, representing also the provincial director of Albay, DILG, we have with us Ma'am uh, Rebecca Britannico. And our um, participants coming from the LGUs of the province of Sorsogon who are all on Zoom. Those are our uh, participants for this morning's activity. And maraming maraming salamat po, Ma'am Ruth. Ayan, uh, as we know, no, I think a, a lot of our LDRMOs and MLGOOs are joining us via Zoom. So talagang madami po yung nakaka-witness ng ating uh, ceremonial activity for this morning. At this juncture, let us hear a message from our very proactive and dynamic regional director, Attorney Anthony Sinuida. Let us give Attorney a big round of applause. Thank you, Mark and Seds. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, of course, uh, to our partner from Local Government Academy for always supporting our efforts here, uh, represented by Director, Executive, uh, Assistant Executive Director Daphne Pornell. Good morning. Uh, of course, to the representative of RD Claudio Yukot of Office of Civil Defense. Ma'am Carla Teya Omilan, Manlangit, the information officer. Oh, last, last year, sige, interview niya sa akin. Ngayon, <laughs> natin. <laughs> and of course, Ma'am Jaja de la Rama, the planning officer also of OCD. And uh, of course, our partner, uh, hindi po magagawa itong... Uh, itong manual na ito without the help of engineer Raden Di Maano, the head of Sorsogon PDRMO, Provincial Government of Sorsogon. Sir, my, my apologies, yung mayun lang nakalagay dyan. Next time, pagawa din kami ng bulusan. Uh, pero, <laughs> pa, 
Sabi namin, ah, bakit may yun lang? I-Bicol. Uh, so yung regional center is in Albay kasi. Pero nilagyan naman namin ng pili sa Kasili. So talagang Bicol na yan. <laughs> Opa. Another, of course, uh, expert who guided us in coming up with this manual, Dr. Cedric Daib, the head of Albay Public Safety and Emergency Management Office. Good morning, Sir Cedric. To also the Ma'am April Angelic Domingiano who is joining us via Zoom, the resident volcanologist for Bulusan Volcano Observatory. Also, uh, although hindi siya kasama sa atin, Mr. Paul Carlson Alanis, the resident volcanologist for uh, Mayon uh, Volcano. Uh, our provincial directors who are here, of course, ARD June Rasal, PD Jules Calortis, uh, Ms. Uh, 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 <laughs> Representative PD Paul of Masbati and Ms. Uh, uh, Rebecca Britannico, Kai, good morning. Sir Olive of LGMED, of course. Uh, the one in charge of this activity is Ruth Gigantoka, the head of LDCDD, all the rest. Uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Of course, una, gusto kong magpasalamat sa mga nakakasama namin sa pagbuo ng manual na ito. Uh, also, gusto kong magpasalamat sa lahat ng provincial, city at municipal DRMOs uh, of Albay and Sorsogon for joining us in this morning's activity at sa lahat ng contribution po ninyo sa pagbuo ng disaster, disaster preparedness manual at nito pong uh, volcanic eruption manual. Lubos din ang aking pasasalamat sa ating mga partner, national government agencies na walang sawang tumutulong at uh, talagang uh, uh, lahat ng request po ng DILG sa pagtulong natin sa mga local government units ay nandiyan po ang ating mga partners from the national government agencies from the CSOs our partners from the local research institutes LRIs state universities and colleges and all the rest who really inspires us and work together to come up with this manual in other uh, cap capacity building efforts of the ILG maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat of course we prepared this manual not uh, just for us here, not for Mr. Dimaana, not for Dr. Cedric, not for the present DRMOs, hindi lang po sa kanila. We prepare this manual for the future generation of leaders in our province of Albay and Sorsogon in other areas na meron pong volcano. Because uh, Mr. Cedric, and nakita ko si Dr. Cedric uh, sa Zoom, sir, good morning po. And uh, Mr. Dimaana will not be there forever. Yung lahat pong nakasama natin dito para gawin itong manual it will not be there forever. We prepare this for the future leaders who will be in charge of response to volcanic eruptions in our region and even in other regions who will be benefiting from this manual. And I hope that we can, as we go on, we can improve on this manual, come up with another and a better version uh, kung ba, based po sa experience pa rin uh, in future eruptions. So again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Uh, we are happy that today uh, we are now ready to share with you uh, the, our journey, the development of this knowledge product with the help, of course, again, of the PBOX, the PDRMO sa Balbay in Sorsogon. And we will share with you the salient features of this manual to give you a glimpse of its contents and how it will be relevant to your LGUs. We hope that this knowledge product will further strengthen the capacities of local government units in disaster risk reduction and management and lead to the attainment of zero casualties in the event of volcanic eruption. This is Maraming salamat, Arden Nuda. Let me borrow some of the words that Arden Nuda gave us this morning. Ang manual na ito ay para sa mga future leaders. Hindi ang manual na ito 
ay ginawa upang maging guide ng nakakarami, lalong-lalo na ng LGU on the actions to be taken before, during, and after volcanic activity. But aside from that, I see the practicability and use of these manuals sa napakaraming aspeto. Kung sa research mayroon tayong tinatawag na significance of the study, uh, where we put the people and institutions that would benefit from our studies, I am so sure malawak ang impact ng manual na ito to the development of resources and materials with regards to the volcanic disasters preparedness. Ayan, once again po, maraming salamat po, R.D. Nuita. Ayan, ngayon naman po, we are very pleased that the local government academy that's, um, that inspired and gave us you know, guidance and support in the development of this manual is present with us today. So to give us a message, let us all welcome the Assistant Director of the Local Government Academy, Ma'am Esmeralda Daphne and Pernell. Magandang umaga po, Ma'am. Magandang umaga po. I hope I'm being clearly just to check in. Yes po, Ma'am. Loud and clear. Okay. Thank you. Marhay na aga. Sir, um, Sir R.D. Anthony Nuida, magandang umaga po. Salamat po sa pag-invite ninyo na makasama ang Local Government Academy ngayong umaga na ito. At syempre, gusto ko rin pong batiin um, si o, uh, OIC ARD Jun Razal, um, ang ating mga kasamahan sa OCD Region 5 headed by Ms. Manlangit at kasama yung mga kasamahan natin sa DILG. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And um, yung mga kasamahan natin dito na mga from other government agencies at ang ating mga local DRRMOs na mga um, sa iba't ibang areas ng Bicol, particularly Sorsogon and Albay. Um, allow me na, na ano, no, uh, special shout out ko lang ang aking mga classmates. Pasensya na, RD. May mga classmates ako dito. Si ano, si um, si Bob ng uh, ano yan, ng Legaspi. At siyempre, nandyan din si Sir Choi Perillo. Nakita ko yung pangalan niya. At nandyan din po si Sir Dempsey Alcala. Magandang umaga rin po kay Miss April Angelique Doming Domingiano, kay Sir Cedric Daep, kay Sir Raiden Dimaano, uh, who are all here and who, who, are, uh, who contributed a lot dito sa ating uh, manual. You know, today is really a very wonderful day to celebrate RD. You know? um, first, because uh, we, we, ano, we have come this far despite the pandemic. Ilang months na ba? Mga 18, 19 months since the pandemic. And we have reached this far. And really, it's a, way, it's a good day to celebrate. You know? And second, of course, kaya maganda talaga ang mag-celebrate ngayong araw na to because we are witnessing the launching of the Operation Listo Disaster Preparedness Manual Protocols for Volcanic Eruption na particular para sa Bicol Region. This uh, ano no this preparedness manual is uh, as mentioned by ano by ID Enuida is a co-creation of different stakeholders with the DILG on the lead. On behalf of our executive director Ms. Thelma Vicina, allow me to congratulate DILG Region 5 headed by RD Nuida and all our partner institutions and people who put this together even, uh, even if we are in the middle of the pandemic. Talagang hindi natin kinalimutan talaga, hindi natin inalaw na madistract tayo ni COVID uh, at ginawa pa rin po natin ito. The DILG through the LGA has been developing a number of preparedness manuals from meron yung sa hydrometeorological hazard yung unang-unang nilabas natin ano tapos meron na rin pong na develop tsunami uh, din developed for tsunami and earthquake and meron din yung yung protocol for managing emerging uh, infectious diseases na ginawa together with DOH ano and together with yun nga um, and this one nag-emerge ngayon yung ating para sa sa volcanic eruption together with uh, other partner institutions, um, PIVOX and yung mga DRRMOs. It, this is part of the continuing commitment of the DILG to ensure protection and safety of our fellow Filipinos amidst disaster. We, we believe that making information such as this accessible to the people and the public is a good strategy 
for disaster risk reduction. As one, uh, as Miss Petro, uh, Miss Petra Nemkova said, si Miss Petra Nemkova is a co-founder, uh, founder of All Hands and uh, Hearts Foundation, a uh, Smart Response Foundation. Um, nagkikater sila sa mga communities affected by disaster, no? Sabi niya, we cannot stop natural disasters, but we can arm ourselves with knowledge. So many lives wouldn't have to be lost if there was enough disaster preparedness. So LGA supported the idea of DILG Region 4A of crafting a protocol for volcanic eruption shortly after the eruption of Taal Volcano. But uh, as Phil Vox said, ano, sinabi ni Yusek um, in one of the conversations, ano, sinabi ni, ni Yusek uh, Renato Solidum, ang mga volcanoes have their own characteristics. And so because of this sprang the idea of having a set of protocol in other regions, kasama na po ang sa Region 5. At hindi natin maide-deny na kapag sinabi nating volcanic eruption resiliency, ang unang-una talagang pumapasok ay ang mga Bicolanos because yung yung frequency talaga ng ng Mayon volcano sa kanyang pag pag-erupt ano and how it seems so flawless para sa mga tao ang kailangan nilang gawin kapag halimbawang nag-erupt ito no um meron din nagsabi no that successful emergency management relies upon experience and expertise this is actually what the disaster preparedness manual protocols for volcan for volcanic eruptions of uh of Bicol region is all about alam mo preparedness sabi niya experience and ex and expertise the manual etong etong very etong ginawa ng region 5 ano yung very specific for region 5 it actually brings together the experience of the people the experience of the people of the bicolanos and the experience and the expertise of the agencies and institutions working on disaster risk management in the Bicol region. And so in a way, this document is a testament of the Bicolano way of thriving amid the constant, constant threat of volcanic eruptions. In, um, we hope that, kami sa LGA, you know, we hope that through uh, this protocol, through this protocol, we can continue to learn to make preparedness as a way of life. Uh, as a way forward, ano, perhaps we can consider also, kung hindi pa ginagawa, perhaps we can also consider doing a local volcanic eruption drill. Meron tayong earthquake drill. So meron na ba tayong drill na ginagawa for volcanic eruption? Siguro magandang gawin natin to Locally, uh, we can start sa mga schools kung paano ito and even the residences by barangay, by communities. And Probably maganda rin yung idea na mag-designate tayo ng National Disaster Prevention Day to promote public awareness and disaster prevention and preparedness. Alam ko na meron, um, meron ng pinupost before ang World Safety Organization ano, na magkaroon, ang, na diniklare nila ang November 8 as a World Disaster Preparedness Day. But this is not something institutionalized yet. And... Um, of course, meron naman tayong December, uh, meron din na i-declare na December 6 as Health Emergency Preparedness Day. But it's really focused on health. And um, meron din National Disaster Resilience Month ng July. But I think um, we might want really to consider uh, na magkaroon ng National Disaster Prevention Day para talagang focus lang sa disaster prepar preparedness. Um, sabi nga nila, um, when disaster strikes, the time to prepare has passed. So, which is why we should pursue preparedness as a way of life. So, um, together, uh, I hope uh, we will promote this protocol ano, together. And why? Why should we uh, promote together itong protocol na ito? Because, um, let me just share with you, bakit natin ipopromote? Because we are the agents of positive change. We have so much in our hands, the capacity to influence. So let us be agents of positive change. And by doing that, we become pillars of hope, not only for our families, but also for our community.
for the people that we love and for and for the Filipinos in general. And so as we promote this uh, protocol and uh, as we become agents of positive change and pillars of hope, I hope that together we can change the mindset and influence the behavior of the Filipinos towards disaster preparedness. Muli, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Diyos mabalos. Back to you now uh, sa Region 5. Thank you very much. And maraming maraming salamat po, A.D. Daphne of the Local Government Academy. Yan, napakaganda ng mga sinabi ni A.D. Daphne. No? Talagang isa sa mga nabing, nabanggit niya is it, talagang itong ating volcanic eruption manual ay isang milestone despite the pandemic. And we have our partner stakeholders to thank for that. Talagang hindi magiging posible yung ating development ng knowledge product na ito kung hindi tayo nagtulungan para mabuo ito. Tama At, ka dyan. Kaya nga nabanggit ni Ma'am Daphne yung, yung product na ito ang effort ng iba't ibang part, ng iba't ibang government agencies na pinangungunahan ng DILG, LGA, Provincial Governments of Albay, Sorsogon, Trivox, among others. Ayan. At syempre, I'm sure that with the help of the Local Government Academy, this Volcanic Eruption Manual is just one of the many knowledge products that we will be developing in the future. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po, A.D. Daphne of LGA. All right. At this point, um, we'd like to ask our participants joining us via Zoom for a photo opportunity. May we ask our participants to please turn your cameras on so that we, we all can have a group photo with our participants and guests who are present in today's program. And lately, no, I, I know that all of our field officers and our local officials and functionaries are very busy. Ang dami-daming programa ng national government and even the local government is na implement ngayon. So we are really grateful, Mark, na talagang they made uh, time to join us in our very important activity this morning. With that, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating participants for taking their time and effort para, sa, para makasama ngayong umaga. Ayan, sige po. Um, our tech team, are we ready to take a screenshot? All right. Please, please flash your widest smile sa lahat ng ating participants while we are taking time to screenshots ng lahat ng ating participants para lahat ay makasama. All right. We'll be taking the screenshot in one, two, three. Hold your smiles. All right. We are going to go to the next panel. One, two, three. All right. Sige po, uh, let's keep our smiles because hindi po natin alam kung ikailang panel tayo. So we'll go to the third panel. We'll take the photo in one, two, three. All right. Maraming maraming salamat po. And now, this is the moment that we all have been waiting for. May we request R.D. Nuida and A.R.D. Razal to do the honor in unveiling the Disasters Preparedness Manual on my count. All right. May we ask um, R.D. Nuida and A.R.D. Razal to do the honors? And also would like to ask um, Engineer Raden Didimaano to also um, grace our ceremonial um, unveiling. And also, we have with us today uh, the representative of Director Claudio L. Yupot. We'd like to ask uh, Ma'am Thea Manlangit to join our ceremony as well. And this is, Mark, no? This is really one of the highlights of our activity. And of course, um, our provincial directors, we have um, PD Julius Calordis of uh, DILG Sorsogon, and we also have Ma'am uh, Rebecca Britannico, the representative of um, PD Arnel Renato Magdideo of DILG Albay. She is our cluster head. And let us wait for um, Ma'am Ma Rebecca Britannico. And also, of course, we will not forget our division chief, Ma'am Maria Rafael. And Sir Oliver Mears are also here. All right. Okay, photo opportunity kumuna for our um, guests. All right. All right. I think everyone is ready. On my count. In three, two, one. 
ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the disasters preparedness manual protocols for volcanic eruption. Let us give each one of us a big round of applause. All right, maraming maraming salamat po. Okay. All right, at this point po, um, we will just be um, having a photo opportunities po since we just officially launched our volcanic eruption manual. And this is really a huge milestone, not just for the ILG, but to all of our partners and to all our LGUs. Talagang I'm sure na uh, matutulungan tayo nito in developing disaster resilient communities. <laughs> and I'd like, we'd like to ask um, uh, RD Nuida and ARD Rizal po to stay in front for the next um, ceremonies. Ayan. Alright, so that was the ceremonial unveiling of the Disaster Preparedness Manual. We now come to the second highlight of our activity for this morning, which is the ceremonial turnover of the manual. Alright. Okay, okay, sir, We'd like to ask would like to ask Mom Athea and Mom Joya to proceed in front for the ceremonial I for the ceremonial turnover of the manual to um the RDRRMC. All right. The Disaster Preparedness Manual, Protocols for Volcanic Eruption, is hereby turned over to Director uh, Claudio L. Yukot, the Regional Director of OCD5, and the Chairperson of the RDRMC. Copies of the manual will also be given to the member agencies of the RDRMC as part of our advocacy of promoting disaster resiliency. So after this, maraming maraming salamat po, Mantea and Mang Joya. The copies of the manual po will be distributed to the members of the RDRRMC. So yung lihat po na tumulong sa atin sa development will be given to them. Finally, the same manual is hereby turned over to Engineer Raben B. Maano, the PDRRMO of the Provincial Government of Sorsogon. Copies of the manual will also be distributed to the cities, municipalities, and barangay of the province of Sorsogon. At this point, po, for our um, participants joining us via Zoom, and also we will be flashing um, the photo documentation uh, during the distribution of the manual to the different LGUs of the province of Sorsogon. Marami salamat po, PDGUs and Engineer Raden. So, uh, flashed on your screens right now are the photo documentation during the distribution to the LGUs of Sorsogon. So, meron na pong copy nito ang ating mga LDRMOs at ang ating mga LCDs. Next po, we'd like to turn over um, the manual to Rebecca Britannico, the re representative for the province of Albay. Ayan. Also po, similarly, copies of the manual were also distributed to the cities, municipalities, and barangays of the province of Albay. And flashed on your screens are the photo documentation during the turnover to the different LGUs of Altai. All right. So we are very sorry, RD and ARD. Meron po pong isa. <laughs> Ayan. At this point, we would like to award the token of appreciation to the members of the technical working group who really worked hard for the development of this manual. First, we are awarding our token of appreciation to Engineer Raden Dibdi Maano the PDRRMO of the Provincial Government of Sorsogon for selflessly sharing his um, expertise, knowledge on disaster preparedness and volcanic eruption. We'd like to ask PD Julius Carl Ortiz to join us in awarding the certificate, the token of appreciation. All right, thank you very much. Po. Thank you very much. Po. I think our all right. 
And of course, the same token of appreciation will be given to Dr. Cedric D. Daep, the Department Head, Head of Albay Public Safety and Emergency Management Office of the Provincial Government of Albay. Dr. Cedric, Cedric Daep is joining us via Zoom, so it will be um, Rebecca Britannico who will be receiving the in here. Of course, unfortunately, um, uh, Sir Carl, Paul, uh, Alanis could not join us today, but of course, we also have a token of appreciation for him. We will just be sending this to his office. And also, the same token is also um, awarded to Ma'am uh, Ma April Angelique E. Domingiano. And she is a science research specialist one from T-Box. And it will be engineer Raden Bibdimaano who will be uh, receiving it in his behalf. All right, thank you very much. So that ends our uh, awarding of the token of appreciation to our Volcanic Eruption Management uh, Technical Working Group. All right, so yun po yung ating um, momentous of ceremonies for this morning. Ayan. Para po ipagpatuloy ang ating activity this morning, we now come to the lecture discussion proper. For this morning, po, we have invited the members of the technical working group uh, to give us a sort of an overview of the content of the manual. And our first discussant, our first discussant to discuss on the disasters prepared this manual, protocols for volcanic eruption, an introduction we have our very own Leonard Champ E. Navarro. Let us give Sir Champ a big round of applause. All right, Sir Champ will be giving us an introduction about the manual. I think our tech team could flash his slides. Hello, good morning. And to our uh, regional management headed by RD Toen and ARD Joan, and sa ating mga provincial directors and representatives, and then si uh, PD Jules and si Mam Kai. Also, nandiyan po si... CH uh, Sir Dudes, no? And to our relationships, um, Ruth and Sir Oli. Yan, ang aking iniidolo, si Engineer Rodin, and sa aking mga representatives na nagagandahan, mga taga-OCD. Ano pa, hindi na mention. Alright. So, and sa inyo po lahat, nandiyan si Dr. Cedric sa Zoom, no? And to AD Daphne, nandiyan. Alright. Also, we have um, um, Ma'am April Dubingan of PVOX, and sa lahat po na ang CML, CMLGOs and local disaster officers, so we are very excited and we are very happy you know, to officially launch this manual. This manual will be a great help to the communities as well as our um, program implementers with regard to disaster management. So being to buy, no, uh, this is just a guide for our program implementers para po mas mapatibay natin or we can in, um, um, increase the capacity of our local government units with regard to response to volcanic eruption. So, um, sir, yes, po. Next. So, ito nga po, sinabi ko kanina, this guidebook um, will prescribe no, the, the preparedness response and early recovery actions and interventions in relation to the volcanic activities of Mayon and Bulusan volcanoes. So, hindi niyo po alam, no, um, um, talagang bakbakan yung nangyari na... <laughs> Nakbakan yung nangyari during the ride shock of this manual, no? Nag-away-away pa ka, nagsabunutan kami, suntukan at kurutan before to finally na ma-produce, no? And ma-finalize. And we are very thankful for our, uh, sa ating mga partner stakeholders that make, uh, made this, uh, the production of this manual came into reality. Alright? Next po. So, paano nga ba kami nag-start, no? So, we were uh, directed by the local government academy, no? together with Region 4A, Region 6, um, Region 3, no? to develop a manual for volcanic eruption. 
So, sabi ni LGA, bibigyan namin kayo ng all the resources, independent ng manual na ito, because we will be, <laughs> excuse me, we will be um, um, providing or increasing the capacity of our local government units relative to volcanic eruption. Sabi naman ng Region 5, sige, again kami dyan. So, alam naman namin na uh, may mga technical working group, may mga experts, no? May mga dalubahasan nandito sa Region 5. Sabi nga ni local government academy, baka naman yung operation listo, yung hydrometeorological um, manual or yung sa bagyo, baka pwede na natin. <laughs> so, it's still, it's, it, this is still in progress. However, sabi nga po nila, ang Bicol region, lahat po ng hazards meron tayo. May, uh, vol vol volcanoes, um, lagi tayong binabagyo, no? yung flooding. <laughs> We have LGU sa coastal areas no so that are prone to tsunamis ano and um, um flash floods so lahat ng ito ang sabi ni uh, LGA gawa tayo ng manual for volcanic eruption so okay. this all started last year last quarter of 2020 we, when we organized the technical working group <laughs> so yan so ito po yung formulation of the manual no it happened last quarter of the of 2020 when we created and organized a technical working group uh, composed of um dalaw nating uh, nagwaagwapuhan at nagkikisigan pre dream host ng uh, Albay and Sorsogo no and also in partnership with uh, with Fivox no also uh, joining us uh, to na nagformulate ng manual na ito were uh, our partner NGAs from the RDRMC sila po yung um ipapakita namin mamaya as pero i-mention ko na rin no um Um, Bureau of Fire Protection, the PNP, no, the DSWD, the DOH, and Genio OCD, represented by Sir Neil Janel, ang aking iniidolo din. So, nagkaroon kami ng write-up sessions, no? write-up sessions, rather, um, last <coughs> February. So, February 2021. No? So, two days yung write-up sessions, then na nadagdagan ng nadagdagan hanggang na-finalize yung manual. All right, So, the finalization of the manual, It was the DILG information team na nag um, nag sanitize ng manual no para mas mapaganda yung yung layout yung presentation sa inyo. And finally, before the approval of the manual, nagkaroon po ng uh, presentation ito sa Ardream C Disaster Preparedness Cluster kung saan na endorse po yung manual na ito sa full council ng Regional Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council para maaprubahan at may adapt po ng ating mga LGUs. And then finally, the Ardream C, inuubo ako ah, Kina, kinahapos ako sa hininga. So finally, the Ardream C issued resolution number three, no? series 2021, approving and adopting our disaster preparedness manual for volcanic eruption. And finally, ito na nga, yung launching na and yung distribution ng manuals. All right, next po. So ito po yung sinasabi namin, uh, these are our partners in the formulation of the manual. We have a uh, local government academy, of course, the two uh, provincial governments of Alba and Sorsogon. We have PVOX, we have DOH, PNP, OCD, DSWD, and we have the Bureau of Fire Protection. Yes, next. So finally, ito na po yung uh, bunga na aming paghihirap, away-away, pagsasabunutan. na iprint na po namin yung manual and we have already distributed it sa ating mga local government units and we hope na magagamit yung manual na ito sa pag um, sa pag enrich ng kanilang knowledge when it comes to response during volcanic eruption next please so ito yung nilalaman niya mamaya i-discuss po ito sa inyo ni naman um, thorough discussion but um, our resource persons this morning will give you an orientation or a teaser discussion kung ano yung mga nakapaloob dito sa manual na ito. Siyempre, yung preliminaries, nandiyan yung mga messages, nandiyan po yung <coughs> um, yung uh, introduction, nandiyan din po sa introduction yung ipinakita sa manual na ito, yung beauty and the beast side of both volcanoes. So nandiyan yung, uh, yung, yung details ni Mayon and Bulusan, and also um, nandiyan din yung mga historical eruptions, yung mga damages, yung mga namatay, kung meron man, no? doon sa mga at the moment of, of, of its eruption. Also, we have the checklist for early preparedness action kung saan makikita natin all of the 
preparedness um, interventions that we can utilize no to further improve sabi ko nga in ulit ulit ko to further improve no our um, um preparedness actions when it comes to volcanic eruption also yung um dito sa second to the last parts the checklist for critical preparedness actions dito naman uh, nakalagay yung mga dapat gawin ng mga task groups na ni-recommend na, namin na ma-create during before during and after volcanic eruption and last but not the least is the checklist of early recovery ano nga ba yung dapat gawin when it comes to um volcanic eruption ano yung mga dapat natin na i-prepare for early recovery and rehabilitation so yan so yung introduction na kwento ko na kanina no yung brief profile niya na nandito rin po pala yung potential hazards and impact and yung impacts ng ng mga hazard na ito. So it was um provided to us by uh, our partner from Fivox no, yung lahat ng hazard and impacts. And also, na nakapalo po sa manual yung mga listahan ng LGUs and even the barangays no. Kung asa ang risk classification kayo pag ang bulusan at ang mayon ay nag erupt or may unrest. So nandito yung hazard maps no na nag-highlight ng locations around the Mayon and Bulusan volcanoes. Next please. Yeah, so na, na mention ka na kanina, but I'll just be uh, reiterating no that na binangga po namin yung preparedness actions sa capacity pillars which are the structure competencies, management systems and enabling policies. Ano ano po ito? Yung structures, ano po ba yung mga kailangan natin with regard to um our preparedness actions for volcanic eruption. May opisina ba tayo? Ano po ba yung kailangan natin ng equipment? Competencies, ano yung mga trainings na kailangan natin para mas map mapatibay natin yung pag-deliver ng services to the community with regard to volcanic eruption. Number three is the management system. Ano po yung mga dapat na um, i-implement yung mga sistema or policia, no? or rather um, flow of um, the service delivery. Paano natin mas ma-enrich yung um, pagbibigay ng tulong sa ating mga communities pag may unrest po si Mayon at Bulusan. And lastly, yung enabling policies ng mga dapat ng polisiya, kailangan ba kailangan ba ng mga ordinances, no? So we have recommended no uh, interventions with regard to the um, strengthening the capacity of our LGUs with regard to volcanic eruption. So, ito yun, ito na kanina, the critical preparedness action, no? So, dito nagkaiba yung part ng al ni Mayon at ni Bulusa, no? So, sa kay Mayon, meron po silang generic na sinusunod. How, uh, while yung kay Bulusan, meron po sila from alert level, uh, from the area risk classification, alpha, alpha hanggang Charlie, meron silang mga specific interventions na kailangan gawin or nire-recommend na gawin pag uh, nagkaroon ng volcanic eruption. Next, please. <coughs> and lastly, I think checklist of early recovery, no. So as mentioned ko kanina, so ito po nakapalo naka dito yung mga dapat na unahin na gawin para mas ma ma mapadali yung pag uh, renew recovery and rehabilitation ng ating affected communities na tinamaan ng volcanic eruption. So we hope now that this uh, manual will uh, help us to increase our capacity more, no. Um para mas makapag-provide tayo ng services to our fellow Bicolan, Sorsoganos, Sorsoganos and Albayan, Albayanos, no? So, and uh, ma-preserve natin yung uh, lives nila, our, pro their, our, actually, our properties, no? And uh, we hope na ma-plansya na natin yung um, pagbibigay ng servisyo pagdating ng volcanic eruption. So, with this volcanic eruption man manual, for sure, we will always save lives. So, Thank you very much. And as part of the primer siguro ng mga next na RPs natin, we will be showing to you the audiovisual presentation of the volcanic eruption na nag, um, containing no, uh, lahat ng information with regard to the manual. So with that, maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, just maabalo sa indo, iingat po ang opirami. Thank you very much. Department of the Interior and Local Government Region 5 and the Local Government Academy spearheaded the Operation Lista Manual for Volcanic Eruption in the Bicol Region. Ito ay resulta ng pinaigting na pakikipagtulungan sa provincial governments of Albay and Sorsogon at ang aming partner national government agency sa RDMC Bicol. 
The attainment of zero casualties and disaster resiliency of communities ay ang naging pangunahing inspirasyon sa paglathala ng manual na ito. Ang Volcanic Eruption Manual ay naglalaman ng mga checklists na magsisilbing kabay ng mga lokal na pamahalaan sa pagsasagawa ng mga narapat na aksyon before, during, and after a volcanic eruption upang masiguro na akmas sitwasyon at tutugon sa pangangailangan ng bawat LGU, may kaukulang checklist na ginawa para sa bukang mayon at bukang bulusa. Ang Volcanic Eruption Manual ay nahati sa apat na bahagi. Ang unang bahagi ay ang introduction na naglalaman ng profile at history ng bulkang mayon at bulusa. Dito din natin malalaman ang iba't ibang hazards, mga epekto na kaakibat nito at ang area risk classification ng mga local government units gamit ang branding ng Operation Listo na Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Matatagpuan rin sa bahagi ito ang mga hazard maps na klaradong nagpapakita ng mga kritikal na lokasyon sa paligid ng vulkan. Ang pangalawang bahagi ay ang Checklist of Early Preparedness Actions. Dito nakapaloob ang mga specific interventions na kailangang isagawa at ipatupad ng mga lokal na pamahalaan. Sa pamamagitan ng checklist na ito, masisigurong angkop ang organizational structure, sapat ang technical competencies ng mga key LG officials and functionaries at may epektibong mga pulisiya, plano at sistema tungo sa maayos na pangangasiwa ng disaster management kaugnay ng volcanic eruption. Noong bahagi ay ang Checklist of Critical Preparedness Actions o mga dapat gawin ng LGUs sa tuwing nagbabadya ang paputok ng vulkan. Sa ilalim ng Critical Preparedness Actions, makikita ang iba't ibang task groups at ang kanilang kampanin sa paghahanda, pagre-responde at pag-monitor report at coordinate sa bawat alert level. Ang pang-apat ay ang checklist for early recovery. Dito naman nakalahad ang mga recovery and rehabilitation actions ng LGUs sa pagtatapos ng isang volcanic eruption. Katulad ng naunang bahagi, nakalahad din dito ang iba't ibang task groups at ang kanilang kaukulang kampanin sa mga panimulang gawain patungkol sa recovery and rehabilitation. Matatagpuan naman sa huling bahagi ng manual ang Quick Guide on Thematic Areas as a reference for the users of this manual. This manual stems from our years of experience in volcanic eruption. Ito rin ang naging produkto ng pinagsama-samang karanasan ng NGAs, LGUs at mga DRR managers sa paghahanda, pagresponde at pagre-recover mula sa mga volcanic eruptions sa Tikal region sa mga nagdaang taon. We recognize that the situation in LGUs for every disaster varies and that there are no hard and fast rules when it comes to disaster management. Ang lahat ng impormasyon na nakapaloob sa manual na ito ay mga rekomendasyon mula sa mga dalubhasa sa larangan ng DRRM. Ngunit ang mga LGUs ay hindi nililimitahan sa pag-e-enhance ng mga nasabing checklist na batay sa sitwasyon ng kanilang lokalidad. We have witnessed numerous volcanic eruptions that has claimed thousands of lives of our fellow Bicolanos and destroyed millions worth of properties and natural resources. Naway ang manual na ito ay makapagdulot ng karagdagang kapasidad sa ating mga lokal na pamahalaan at ang disaster resiliency ng bawat komunidad ay ating makamtan. Tamang paghahanda, tamang aksyon. Basta listo, we will save lives. Thank you very much, Sir Chang, for sharing your insights at naging experience sa pag-craft ng manual na ito until, ay, from the very beginning until it became what it is right now. Nung sinabi ni Sir Chang na naging madugo ang paggawa ng manual na ito, uh, it seems that he's not exaggerating at all kasi from his presentation, napakaraming naging pinagdaanan ng manual na ito. And for that, I am so, so proud to all of the te technical working group behind this uh, manual. And of course, the technical working group should be proud of themselves as well. At syempre, no, uh, i-mention ko lang din, no, talaga nakaka-proud din yung Bicol LGRC natin that aside from the manual ay bumuo din tayo nitong audiovisual presentation para talagang mas maging madali sa ating mga LGUs na ma-appreciate yung ating uh, manual for volcanic eruption. Ayan, so once again, maraming maraming salamat po, uh, Sir Leonard Thank Champ you. Inavaro. Uh, at this point po, we now proceed to the second part of our lecture discussion this morning. To discuss to us the area risk classification of LGUs during volcanic eruption and its hazards, we have with us today Ma'am April Angelique E. Domingiano, the Science Research Specialist 1 and the resident volcanologist of the Bulusan Volcano Observatory. Magandang umaga po, Ma'am April. 
Good morning po sa lahat. Uh, the floor is... Yes. So let me just share my screen po. And so everyone can see the uh, PowerPoint presentation po. So um, my name is April Domingiano and I am the resident volcanologist of Luis and Volcano Observatory. And I'm here to present the area risk classification of LGU Albay and Sorsagun during Mayan and Volcano Volcanic uh, Eruption in its hazard state. So uh, we all know that the Philippines is prone to many natural hazards. Kasama na nga po dito ay ang volcanic eruption. Pero, bakit nga ba? Ang um, distribution ng earthquake at volcanic eruption sa buong mundo ay hindi random. Kung makikita natin, ito ay particularly na na-observe o nakikita sa Pacific Ring of Fire. At nakapulaw po dyan ang Pilipinas. Sa katunayan nga po, meron po tayong around 300 volcanoes. And 24 dito ay considered active. And 27 naman po ay potentially active. Para naman po sa, Bic sa Bicol region, meron po tayong apat na bulkan na binabantayan. Ang Isarog, Iriga, Mayon at Bulusan. Ang Mayon ay matatagpuan natin sa probinsya ng Albay na naka-alert level 0 sa ngayon at huling pumutok noong January to March of 2018. At ang Bulusan Volcano naman po, ay matatagpuan sa probinsya ng Sorsogon na sa ngayon po ay naka-alert level 0. Uh, huli naman po itong pumutok noong June, 20, uh, June 2017. Ngayon, ano-ano nga ba yung makikita natin ng mga senaryos o yung mga pinapakita na behavior ng mayon at pulusan? You can, actually see, you can actually see or exhibit uh, different types of eruptions from small steam-driven eruption o yung tinatawag natin na phreatic eruption to big explosive eruptions with uh, major hazards kagaya na pyroclastic flow na nakikita natin dito sa pictures. Ito po yung nasa baba na to, yan. Pero ano nga ba at bakit nga ba natin kailangan malaman kung ano itong mga volcanic hazards? Uh, these volcanic hazards uh, pose potential threat sa lahat ng mga katao, property, and environment in a given period of time. At may dalawang categories po tayo dito. Ito po ay um, primary and secondary volcanic hazards. Sa primary hazards, nandun po ang um, lava flow, pyroclastic density current o yung tinatawag po natin uson, ash fall, volcanic gases, and fish rain. Sa secondary hazards naman po, may kita natin ang lahar, secondary explosions, tsunami, debris avalanche, or sector collapse. So unahin na po natin yung mga nakikita natin dito sa Mayon at Bulusan. First, we have lava flow na madalas po natin talaga nakikita sa Mayon Volcano. And I'm very sure na familiar na po ang lahat dito. Ang, ito po ay uh, incandescent rivers of hot molten rock na dumadaloy pababa from crater, katulad po ng nasa picture natin. And maaari din po itong lumabas sa mga fissures and it can actually be seen during Hawaiian Strombolian activity and lava dome eruptions kagaya ng nakikita natin sa Mayon Volcano. Next naman po ay ang mga ash falls. It is a uh, shower of very fine to coarse grain. Ito yung mga pino kong trambukangin or ashes na nakikita or nakitapon during uh, volcanic eruptions. And this could be dispersed or maaari po itong tama ng mga communities na nakadepende naman po kasi ito sa prevailing wind and column height. Katulad na lang po noong Mayon 2018 eruption, na halos zero visibility na po yung parteng, uh, I think, binabatan area po ito. And some of the impacts of this is actually it can uh, destroy infrastructure. Katulad na lang po na nakita natin sa Mayon Volcano 2020 eruption na gumuho po yung mga bubong nila. Next naman po ay ang pyroclastic density current o yung tinatawag natin na oson. So, ito po ay pinaghalo-halong volcanic materials na abo at mga bato at mainit po na maaaring mag-flow down slope at a very high speed. Katulad, katulad na lang po na nakita natin sa Mayon Volcano. 
and may common misconception po dito na ang lava flow ang pinaka deadliest sa organic hazards pero sa kapunayan po talaga ang deadliest ay ang uson o ito pong pyroplastic density current bakit kasi maaring pong makasunog or parang ma uh, incinerate po yung mismong mga materials na madadaanan nito at maaring pong matabunan lahat ng mga rivers and valleys katulad ng nakikita natin sa picture sa right side and next naman po ay ang lahar. So alam naman natin na ito ay isang rapidly flowing thick mixture of volcanic sediments and water generated along river channels by extreme rainfall na madalas natin nakikita sa Mayon Volcano. Katulad na lang nung noong nyari ng 2006 sa May Ginubata na halos na bury na po yung buong uh, barangay. And this could actually be, uh, nakita na din po natin to sa Pinatubo Volcano noong 1991. Na kung saan, natabunan po yung katulad nito, isang building na to, at halos yung bubong na lang po yung nakita. And uh, lastly, is the volcanic gases. So ito po yung pag-release ng water vapor, uh, toxic gases like carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, na maaaring makakitil ng buhay po ng mga tao. And ng mga uh, livestock po natin. Katulad na lang po nung nangyari sa 1986 Lake Nias disaster kung saan po namatay ang 1,746 na tao. At maari din po itong mangyari sa Taal Volcano. So, paano nga ba natin malalaman kung ano yung mga status ng bawat vulkan? May tinatawag po tayo na Volcano Alert Levels. Ito ay may range from 0 to 5 and this can be used to guide and recommend appropriate action and responses. Sabi nga ni AD kanina na yung mga karakteristik nga ng vulkan na monitor natin ay magkakaiba. Kaya magkakailangan din ng magkakaibang action and plano para sa set isa sa bawat vulkan. One example is the Volusan Volcano Observe uh, Volusan Volcano Alert Level Scheme. Makikita po natin dito sa ating my left side ang alert levels and then sa gitna po yung criteria. Sa criteria po, pinapakita kung ano yung uh, monitored parameters ng bawat uh, vulkan. And for each level, may kanya-kanya po interpretation and recommendation. For example na lang po sa Bulusan Volcano at alert level 0, Ang um, pinapakita po nito no, no magmatic eruptions per scene. Pero may maaari pong may mga hazards na mangyari katulad ng uh, uh, pyroplastic density current or I think, uh, sorry, phreatic eruption po pala, rockfall and landslide na maaari mag-occur sa loob ng 4 km per minute major zone. So for alert level 3 po sa so lahat po ng ating mga vulkan ay nire-recommend po natin ang evacuation ng permanent danger zone and high hazard zones. So ano nga ba itong mga high hazard zones? Ito po yung mga nasa loob po ng high hazard ng fire cost density current. For example po, ito pong Bulusan Volcano, hazard map po ng Uson. May kita po natin yung solid po na purple. Yan po yung tinatawag natin na high hazard zone. And at alert level 3, nire-recommend po natin na evacuation na din po sa mga areas na to. So lahat po yan ay makikita natin sa lahat ng mga hazard maps na nasa feed box. And these informations were actually used para po ma, uh, ma-classify ang areas by their risk. So, for Albay po, ang um, classification po natin, for Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie is makikita po natin sa harapan. For Alpha, within 9 to 10 kilometer radius, Bravo is within 8 kilometer radius, Charlie is within 6 kilometer permanent danger zone na makikita po natin ang kulay pula. And pansin po natin na wala po dito yung sa lahat. For Albay, they have separated it naman po. Based naman po ito sa mga hazard maps ng Fibox. 
So for alpha, ito po yung low risk. And then Bravo, ito yung moderate risk. And then Charlie, XT high risk. Or ito po yung kulay pula. Nakikita po natin ito sa ating manual. For the uh, Sorsogon province po, alpha is the areas inside 9 to 12 kilometer radius. And Bravo is the areas within 5 to 9 kilometer radius. So Charlie po, ito na po yung nasa loob ng 4 kilometer permanent danger zone. Ito pong kulay red. Up to 5 kilometer radius danger zone. And ito pong 2 kilometer extended danger zone southeast ng Bulusan Volcano. So kung mapapansin po natin, sa hazards na nakalista, wala po dito yung ash fall. Kung natatandaan po natin kanina, sinabi ko po na ang ash fall ay maaaring makaapekto sa mga bayan depende sa prevailing wind direction and wind height. For example na lang po, ito pong hazard map or fallout map noong November 2010. Kita po natin yung kulay red dots. Yan po yung mga areas na naapektuhan noong November 8 to 9. And yung pink naman po ay ang November 6. So nagbago po yung wind direction ng time na yun. So sabi nga ni ben Benjamin Franklin, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. And this gives us to preparation na talaga ang pinaka-key para po mat ma maging handa ang lahat. So one tool para gamitin po maging, para maging prepare po tayong lahat ay ang volcano, uh, Volcanic Eruption Manual na ginawa po ng Technical Working Group. And we have to be actually updated din po kung paano po yung nangyayari sa ating mga vulkan. And pwede natin gamitin ito or pwede po natin malaman ito gamit ang Volcano PH info na maaari po ma-download sa Google Play. Ito po yung mobile application na ginawa ng Freebox kung saan may kita po or ma-review ma niyo po araw-araw ang mga uh, volcano bulletins ng bawat vulkan na nasa alert level 1 pataas. So, um, ayun lamang po. And maraming salamat po, Ma'am April, for um, giving our participants the, the different risk classification of LGUs as shown in the maps. Ayan. So matatagpuan po natin yung uh, more specific details regarding this topic po sa ating manual. Ayan. At syempre, maraming salamat din po, Ma'am April, no, sa pagbahagi sa amin nitong uh, Volcano PH Info na dinevelop ni Fibox. I'm sure na uh, magiging uh, useful din po ito sa ating mga LGUs as they prepare for disasters. All right, moving forward with our teaser discussion, presenting via Zoom to discuss on the preparedness and response interventions of LGUs during Mayon volcano eruption, we have via Zoom Dr. Cedric D. Daep. Sir Daep, magandang umaga po. Yeah, magandang umaga. Unang una, uh, thank you for allowing me uh, to stay on virtual presentation. Uh, I just recovered from sickness, so for proper health protocol and during the presentation. I don't need to go with you uh, for process of uh, safety. Anyway, objective will be achieved if we do it by virtual. And let me, before I'll, I'll present my, my PowerPoint, uh, let me first uh, say something that the preparedness manual that we developed for Sorsogon and Albay will help us make uh, our job easier as uh, in response and recovery. Since investment and preparedness will go, go a lot more of uh, readiness than doing more response and recovery for lack of preparedness. And then second, the preparedness manual is a plain demonstration of exercising our teamwork so that we will all together join in doing our job uh, clear in a short period of time, we can easily achieve our objective. Now for my presentation, actually, uh, for my presentation, uh, magdadagdag na lang ako because some of these are were already presented. Magdadagdag na lang ako. 
uh, can you can you is my presentation moving yes okay anyway so talking about preparedness manual and protocol for mayon and bolosan uh, we are lucky to to know about the critical associated hazards of the volcano <coughs> so that so that we will be able to uh, determine which one will be our priority in the event of emergency and what will be our trigger in order to take off or in order to send off our team and then uh, proceed with that three proceed with the with the actions right after no uh, getting that trigger now it was already presented by feebox uh, for example this lava trickle or lava flow and then pyroclastic density current that this is also a trigger in our case at alert level three if they're already placed by feebox and the alert level three we cannot move for the maximum evacuation unless we see the trigger which, which is the lava trickle or lava fountaining and then uh but uh the countermeasure is simply just a distance of several uh meters away you are safe for lava trickle or lava lava flow except for pyroclastic flow that we need to uh the distance of uh more than six or seven or even up to eight kilometers in order to protect our population in from the danger zone now in the manual it is uh shown the hazard the primary secondary hazards and then it is being clearly described including the effects and countermeasures very clear so hindi na tayo mahirapan sa local government units we will just go go through with this but for us to be ready during the volcanic eruption yung manual ay kailangan pag-aralan na natin at the time that there is no volcanic eruption Hindi nabubuksan natin ito at the time of volcanic eruption because we have no time to check what is supposedly done at this kind of situation where we are experiencing already the lava uh, pyroclastic density current. And if it's moving, if the wind is the prevailing wind is moving towards northeast or towards southwest, then we have no time to prepare for uh, some actions needed in order to protect population against us. So we need to read the manual ahead of time so that we will be able to memorize them and then come up with decision making quickly at the time of need and then yeah the lava flow <coughs> excuse me the lava flow uh we're not worried much of the lava flow but we are worried more of the asphalt and pyroclastic density current and also the mud flow especially the mud flow if i remember it right in 1984 there was a sudden volcanic explosion that was september 11 uh, then then birthday of then president marcos and then followed by a big explosion in september 22 and then followed by typhoon marine and during typhoon marine in 1984 what we saw uh, flowing from the river channels in basud river in Santo Domingo and in Bulawan River and Malilipot was a lava flow that is uh, boiling. Makikita mo talaga yung umuusok na lava flow because that was a kind of volcanic eruption combined with typhoon and we consider that as complex disaster in a volcanic eruption. Kasama po yan sa manual. Inanticipate po natin yan dito para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Baka later on sa manual sasabihin natin oh, ito ni ni director na manual tapos ayun may kasabay na bagyo and bakit hindi kasama so that was anticipated that's why we include that in the manual for uh, this uh, preparedness uh, for the volcano and then yeah so clear na naman ito itong so itong lahar ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na itong lahar na ito Sometimes this is mistaken as uh, a, 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 an eruption stage uh, hazard. But this is not an eruption stage hazard unless 
a typhoon or other weather system will create it because it happened during volcanic eruption. But we consider this as post eruption stage. That's why if we are going to consider vulnerable population, because this is, we identified already the population threatened by, uh, by Lahar and the population threatened by pyroclastic flow, population threatened by asphalt dito sa manual. Ngayon, say for example, dahil dito sa manual, we can immediately determine na kapag pumutok ang vulkan na 6 kilometers lang kasi pyroplastic flow, maganda naman ang panahon, we might be evacuating only maybe 8,000 families or maximum of 10,000. But with the presence of lahat, we might expand up to 20 or 24,000. So kung 10,000 families lang ang mag evacuate taken into consideration, 300 pesos per family per day, pagkano ang cost mo sa relief? that cost about 3 million pesos per day napakalaki so those are itong manual na ito you can determine dito sa data available kung even on financial aspect makikita mo paano mo makukumpute so this helps a lot in terms of preparation not only based on the identified uh, data as presented in the manual but we will still have to make some interpretation of the data available in the manual so that we can even expand our preparation in connection with this manual. So ito naman yung pinapakita sa manual na options during typhoon, ito na yon. Kasi iba, iba naman yung albay sa other volcanoes. Sa albay kasi pag, pag ang lahar ay initiated by rainfall, either during or post-eruption stage, uh, kapag new, new materials or new deposits, ang mga ano pa lang yan, mga 20 meters per hour, mag evacuate tayo. Pero kung mga old deposits, 40 millimeters per hour, lead time of 2 to 3 hours. So that we will be evacuating people ahead of the actual lahar at 60 millimeters per hour, which is the threshold of destructive lahar. So makikita natin dito. Kaya dinagdag din namin ito sa manual so that we will be able to consider yung a trigger in decision making when are we going to evacuate people who are they and where are they going to be transferred during lahar so marami tayong ibig sabihin itong manual na ito uh, hindi pa ito yung sasabihin ng lahat ng kailangan natin kailangan pa natin dagdagan ng analysis and interpretation ng data based sa experiences natin para yung decision making natin ay sharp and then hindi tayo magkakamali, we will be able to attain the zero casualty. Okay. Yung checklist of uh, dito naman sa uh, preparedness action, uh, we, we identified those accountabilities, responsibilities, and actions done by the governor, by the city and municipal mayors, and then the barangay. So that synchronize natin yun. Hindi ibig sabihin, pag nagsabi yung governor na ito ang gagawin natin, yun din ang gagawin ng barangay at saka municipality. Dapat they have also their corresponding actions to do, corresponding the actions to be done by the governor. If we issue advisory, if FIBOX issue uh, FIBOX bulletin, that is the science. Pero dito sa action na ito, ito na ang content doon sa uh, advisory that we are going to issue. If FIBOX will say the area is placed under signal alert level one or two, that is the sign of that is the information about the uh, indicators or the parameters shown in the instrument. But what about actions? Ito na ngayon yung nakalagay dito sa uh, preparedness actions that requires uh, information for inclusion in the advisories to be issued for. Uh, things that needs to be done at the community level. And then ito namang, ano, uh, yan, continuation ito ng, so marami tayong gagawin. So kung babasahin mo ito, sa panahon na pumutok ang mayon, may makakaligtaan ka. Kaya kailangan basahin na natin ito ngayon at the normal situation so that at the time of emergency situation or when emergency situation is declared, memorize na natin quick decision making ang mangyayari. Para meron ka ng dictionary sa loob ng inyong otak. Na, nasa loob na yan ng, ng utak nyo kung ano yung system, nasa system na. And then ito naman yung uh, list of trainings so that we will be able to determine the gaps. Meron pa bang gaps? Baka kulang pa tayo dito ng training for the local chief executives. 
for the newly elected officials, maybe more tailored training for the newly elected officials and reorientation for the elected officials and some trainings for the legislators or some trainings for the media people so that we will be able to help us synchronize their information given the advisories issued by the local government units. So kailangan pa po natin yan. So marami tayong information na available na makikita sa manual. Pagandahin pa po natin ito by way of actual implementation of the manual. Anyway, first version pa lang naman ito. Uh, marami pang mangyayari sa mga darating na araw. Depende yan sa mga new, new experiences naman sa mga susunod na volcanic eruptions. Okay. Ito sa alert level 1. Uh, ito yung mga actions that needs to be done by the province, by the city, municipalities, barangay. Uh, ito yung makikita nyo sa manual. Alert level 2, alert level 3, then alert level 4, preparedness. And then alert level 5. Pero, uh, and then sa zero, pag binaba na ulit yan sa zero. Pero meron tayo dito uh, decision making in terms of issuance or declaration by FIBOX under alert level status. Kung anong status ng critical condition ng FIBOX. Kasi sabi ng FIBOX, abnormal, alarming, uh, critical, imminent, and Eruption in progress sa 1 to 5. Ngayon, ano ang trig? Okay lang yan. Pag alert level 1, mah mahaba pa yan. Buwan pa yan. So, maramit pa tayong magagawa. Mga review pa lang yan ng mga plans. Pwede siguro balikan natin yung mga geo geospace technology map natin para makita natin ilan pa ba yung nasa danger zone ng volca volcano. Para pagdating sa evacuation planning, may time pa tayo, we can match the number of populations to be evacuated to the existing evacuation facilities that we have given into consideration distance as the countermeasure. So yan ang nakikita ko dito sa ginawa nating manual to prepare. And then, pag alert level number two, uh, magsignal, makisignal na lang kung tapos ang time ko. Humaba. Tapos dito sa two naman, ito preparation na, pwede natin information uh, protocol na tayo dito, uh, meetings with the barangay captains, and then information caravan, and then review ng plano and so on by municipality focus group discussion. Pag alert level, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> alert level 3. Ito na ngayon yung trigger. Alert level 3, trigger is uh, meaning evacuation of population within the 6 kilometers. Pero, mahaba pa yan. Ito ang magastos. So, ano ang plano mo dyan? Hindi pa namin i-evacuate yung sa extended danger zone sa 7 or 8 unless declare ng FIBOX na alert level 4. Ngayon, pag hindi nag-declare pang FIBOX ang alert level 4, once we see the lava fountaining and lava trickle without declaration, elevate, <coughs> elevating alert level 3 to 4, mag-evacuate kami. Kasi we had an experience in uh, 19, no, in 2000 eruption, we had an experience that upon demonstration by the volcano at, at lava trickle, at 8 o'clock, then we mobilize at 10 o'clock, repositioning of vehicles, and then advising all the community to proceed to temporary holding area. Then we started evacuating at 1 o'clock in the morning and completed evacuation of 18,000 people at 6 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning, pumutok. Wala nang tao. So yan ang trigger namin sa mayon at lava trickle and lava fountaining. Mabuti kung hanggang lava trickle lang siya lava fountaining. It's okay lang. Pero at least we already evacuate to prepare. So, alert level 4, yan na, response phase na tayo. Pag alert level 3, partial response phase declaration. Pag alert level 4, full-time response phase declaration. And, hanggang alert level 5. Magbaba lang kami yan to, to send home the population for the campment at alert level 3 or 2 
kung sinabi ng Fibox na magma intrusion na siya because of the absorb, obs, absorb parameter na baka may swarm of volcanic wakes. So pag magma intrusion, pwede ka naman kami mag-decamp yan at alert level 3, 3 or 2. Depende sa advice. Because if we are not going to decamp, well, saan tayo kukuha? May donors fatigue na yan. Wala na tayong pera. Very expensive. Uh, for volcanic eruption uh, of less than uh, mga one to one and a half months, for volcanic eruption, we need to spend about 500 to 600 million pesos. In 1984, that was three, three months. So mas malaki. So napakalaki ng cost. Okay, so yan na yon. Okay, critical preparedness action. Ito yung task group na sa to prepare, respond, and recover. Clear din naman yan. Yan, yan sa manual. I don't need to further elaborate this uh, content because they are self-explanatory. Uh, instructional naman yan. And then critical preparedness action, task group, and then prepare, response, and recover. Iyan yung mga tasks nila by task group. Now, balikan ko yung response phase. Sa response phase pala, uh, kung massive ang volcanic explosion that will stay longer, where international community are coming for support, we, sh we shy away from using the organizational structure as mandated under RA 10121, but we shift to uh, cluster approaches. So I may mga camp coordination and camp management dito, cluster approach, kasi we must follow what is being said in the guidance note in Geneva by the International Agency Standing Committee para maka-align tayo sa foreign policy and then yung mga foreign nationals pupunta sila dito not just to leave the relief support but pupunta sila dito to help us manage the operation. Kasi pag hindi tayo nag-cluster approach align with the international with the foreign policy ibibigay lang nila yung donation sa atin tapos iiwanan na tayo. So kulang, hindi masyadong maganda yung intercomplementary approach in terms of response mechanism. And then dito naman sa recovery, okay, clear naman dito, i-shortcut ko na lang sa recovery, automatic, <coughs> we need to, we need to assess the damage. Confined lang within the hazard map as developed by FIBOX. Doon lang naman ang damages except for as full kung mag ano siya mag expand pero uh, normally concentrated lang sa northeast east and southwest depende yan kung anong season doon lang concentrated kaya uh, damage assessment needs assessment and then comprehensive rehabilitation plan and then donors form kaagad tayo part ng recovery planning so that while we are awaiting for the <coughs> well <coughs> just me While we are awaiting for the national support, uh, kung meron na tayong allied na uh, need assessment and comprehensive uh, rehabilitation plan presented in a donors forum, ang bilis tumulong ng mga foreign agencies. Napakabilis. In five days to ten days, nandyan ang support. Pledge ka agad and then ang bilis. So donors forum and then support naman ng national government because we cannot just explore the national support unless Ready na yan kasi malaking proseso. So we need to maximize our uh, the support coming from the external sources. Okay. Task group pa rin yan. Uh, quick, quick guide on thematic areas. Ito na yung sa preparedness, mitigation, response and recovery aligned with the thematic areas of our disaster risk reduction and management framework. So consistent tayo sa disaster preparedness manual developed by LGA and DILG Region 5. Marami salamat po. Thank you very much, Sir Da, Sir, uh, Sir da e, for imparting your expertise and experiences on the responses and recovery me mechanisms of APSIMO with regards to the volcanic activity with Mayon Volcano in the past, which can be used as a guide in crafting effective and efficient action plan for the present and for the future. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po, Sir Daep. And Sir Daep, we hope na uh, maging maayos na po yung pakaramdam natin. No? We are really hoping for your fast recovery po, Sir. Ayan. 
we now come to the last part of our lecture discussion this morning. And to present to us the preparedness and response interventions of LGUs during the Luzon volcano eruption, we have with us this morning Engineer Raden Didimaano, the PDRMO of the Provincial Government of Sorsogon. A round of applause, please. Thank you. Uh, to our regional director, DALG, Attorney Anthony Sinoida, our OIC regional director, Alderico S. Rosal Jr., the different provincial directors, the whole province, uh, the Bicol region, and the whole family of DILG. From OCD, uh, Director Yukot being represented by Mam Teya and Mam Joya, and Sino ba? Um, sa lahat-lahat na maray na agad tabi sa Gabos. Actually, kung makikita nyo sa ating presentation, including the preparedness, response, and recovery, meron nawawala doon. I would like to share with you regarding yung tinatawag natin na uh, yung indigenous uh, early uh, warning. Kasi every time that uh, meron tayong tinatawag na volcanic activity or yung paggalaw ng mga bulkan, hindi ito maiwasan, especially to the old ones. Minsan, tinatawag natin sa merong may mga ahas or whatever na nandoon sa ano. Kaya lang hindi doon mag-document natin. But kung titingnan nyo, those are the familiar with the president along the Balkan. Kaya pag may makikita sila ng mga indigenous or yung mga endangered na mga ano, kung ano pa man, uh, those are the sometimes ginatawag natin na indigenous early warning. So hindi pa natin mag-document doon, but talagang nangyayari pa rin yun. The birds and other ano, na mga nandiyan sa living ano, sa palapit sa bulkan. So kanina, sabi ni Buschamp, we have different ano, we approach with the Mayon and Bulusan. Yung natawag natin na uh, uh, alert and then the alert level and then the cluster. I think uh, yung pagkakaiba namin is because we use the uh, operation list to. So my, our recommendation for in behalf of the province of Sorsogod, itay up natin doon ang preparedness natin. Ang ginawa ng, uh, ng DILG doon sa operation list na using the three colors. So therefore, ganun din yung ginawa namin para pag naano ng tao, just continue ano ng ano ng pag ano nila, yung, yung pag-memorize ng mga threats kanila, especially with my typhoon, we use the three colors, and then, so lahat na, kaya kung makikita nyo, that is, yun ang ginamit namin, why we have the Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. So we differentiate the different uh, alert level coming from the, ano nang, P-Box. So, I think, uh, na-present na kanina yung mga laman ng uh, manual. I would just like to share with you the, some of the uh, documentary evidence for our preparedness and uh, actions uh, for Bulusan Volcano. So, I think that is already very clear with Bulusan Volcano, yung profile natin. Uh, next. So, na tayo sa mga, may mga pictures. That is already included in the uh, manual. So, yung history ng Bulusan Volcano. And next. Uh, sige po. Yan, that is, I think, uh, 2009. If not, uh, 2011. I think that's the mataas yan na umabot ng hanggang mas bate. So, ang pagkakaiba ngayon ng Bulusan, uh, since the P-Box, we have already had of equipment along the volcanoes. Ang pagkakaiba is even alert level 0 si Bulkan, Bulusan, ay pwedeng sumabog. So, that is the misan, uh, even at uh, midnight or early morning, talagang misan pumuputok na lang siya. So, so far, uh, Bulusan Volcano is under alert level 0. Next po. Yan ang mga pictures na ano natin. Just continue, sir. Next. So, ito yung katawag natin na kanina na Alpha Bravo Charlie. So, ito lang yung pagkakaiba ng aming presentation with Mayon Volcano because we adopted the 
ano ng DILD na using the three colors in the Oplan listo. So yung Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. We differentiate the different effects and then the different uh, area coverage. Yun ang pagkakaiba lagi. Sige po. Next. Okay, so this is the uh, preparedness and response. So nandiyan pa si Sir Ed sa picture natin. So we have also the tinatawag namin na pre-disaster uh, uh, risk analysis. So kung titingnan mo, we have already the identified population at risk. Pagkakaiba-iba na alert level. And kung kailangan natin na uh, ilikas, we have the different also uh, amount just in case for uh, may iba quest may iba quest tayo the covering different uh, the after 5 kilometers ng ng uh, bulusan volcano we have already anticipated amount kaya medyo malaki-laki talaga if they have to stay in the evacuation center so that is the our pedra or in the pre disaster risk analysis okay next one So for the information dissemination, we're using the Infocast. We have the DWDR 105.5. I think this is the first the, uh, disaster radio within the Philippines. Uh, now we are, uh, ang aming power is already 2,000 uh, watts. So ngayon, the component of that, doon sa mga highly, like for example in Irusin, yung barangay Kugun is very near doon sa, ano, sa uh, 5 kilometers ang ano nila distance. May component naman yung mga yung region namin. We have the, yung katawag natin na public address. So nakatsunin sila doon. So therefore, every time na merong ganyan na thread, surround yung uh, tawag niyan yung barangay. So isang Kasi wala na ngayon mga radio. I don't know kung mayroon pag mga transistorized radio. Yung mga basic natin ng pang, uh, dating form of information and source, mahirap na. So, sa amin naman, we try to look into a system na to cover all. So, yung public address is, uh, I think, na-adapt ko din yan nung nag-visit ako sa Lady, sa Gisaugugun. Ang ginawa nila is, they use the wire, the speaker, para Maabot kasi yung mga bahay, medyo malayo. But some of the barangays in Sorsogon, medyo concentrated. Kaya mas madali. So madali din na maka ano yung, ano, yung information. So aside from the using the FM uh, radio, we have also the uh, one-tone, one frequency, the two-way radio. Si mga barangay naman, naabot sila yan because of the help ng mga DRRM. So kami, nakalink all lahat ng mga Eldrin, si, si Municipi naman ngayon, nag-link nag naman doon sa mga barangay. Uh, mm -hmm. Ang basis naman lang, more, more of the uh, highly susceptible, highly ano na mga barangay. And then later on, tabo na nila. So, padagdag-padagdag pa, lang ng early, uh, system at nag-start sila doon based on the threat. Yung uh, highly vulnerable or susceptible doon sa mga threat or hazard. So ngayon, yun ang ginagawa namin. So nakakaling kami. They also have their own license na radio. So nakakaabot ka agad yung information. And I think that is very, as of now, ah, I don't know kung you know. And for us, we are already using the digital para ma-level up. Kasi according to sa DILD, we have to implement the ICS every type of my threat. Sa ICS naman, we are requiring many frequencies. So using the digital, Isang radio, isang frequency, but marami na mga groups ang pwedeng gumamit. So that is the uh, advantage ng digital. Kaya we're already using the digital para kung meron, hindi nag-overlapping yung mga command or yung mga conversation and coordination. So next. So we also have the simulation kasi mahirap even in tsunami. We try already. Lahat ng mga exercises like for example, this one is for the volcanic hazard. Mahirap kumano ng community. And we try with uh, tsunami. Mahirap kami. Napaka ng, especially when we talk about uh, simulation exercise para malaman ng community. So ngayon, gumawa na lang kami muna lang sa level ng mga L-Dream para magkaroon kami ng tiyatawag na uh, 
parang uh, tawag niyan yung action natin mabuo ng isa na uh, by using the itong simulation exercise so meron tayong ginagawa na tawag diyan yung scenario so of course kung makikita niyo sa ano maraming role ni bureau fire kasi kung hindi man sa amin malakas yung pagputok niya si fire kasi yung cleanliness because of the asphalt. Kaya napaka swerte siguro ngayon ng source of because we have a lot of fire trucks. Noon, medyo nahirapan kami kaya medyo natagal lang pa kami maglinis especially that time that we have the classes. So, especially yung mga malapit doon sa ito kasi pumuputok-putok lang siya. So, ngayon, kung makikita niyo is more on si fire are now na dyan and then the security, si per si PNP just in case uh, yung ano namin na uh, Scenario is more on medyo elevated. So we need the security. Dito naman sa isang group, kung matitingnan nyo, we have the, from the OH and then the DSWD and the Red Cross. Because anytime, may kanya-kanya kasing role eh. So definitely, alam nila ang gagawin nila every time na mayroon tayo kaya ng activity yung bulletin. Okay, next. Ito yung, this is the uh, illustration ng ano namin kanina na one ton of frequency and based on the ISO, based on the objectives namin, and then based on the ano ng aming governor na mas lalong palaksin yung interoperability. So we increase more uh, station na pwede namin lagyan and we add more. And also we have an additional equipment kasi uh, I have to explain pa sa NTC why we have a lot of radio because every time na meron nangyari kasi nahirapan kami mag-ikot yung mobile since we have members of the Dream C pwede namin lagyan yung ibang mga vehicle nila just to situate that all the area in source of gold ma-monitor natin so assuming uh, for example like Pisoy we do not have the uh, intermittent uh, ano nang signal ng smart or yung telcos natin so using the VHF uh, radio makakabot kagad yung mga uh, information. So ito po yung isa na illustration, uh, the map. Uh, Nadagdagan namin ng ano, because of the, we have also the assessment coming from the medical or the sa health services na marami kasi yung mga tinutulungan natin, especially the vehicular accident, may mga transfer. Sa DRR na kasi lahat yan eh. Anything, I think, every time that we have kahit mag-bulkan or whatever, that it, saan ba si DRR? <laughs> So now, that is one of the assessments na, assessment na nakita na may kulang. So we add more and we install a different hospitals ng radio. So mas lalong dumami, maganda yung interoperability, and then yung information and coordination mas madali. Next, we have uh, Bali 8 na hospitals. Kaya anytime... Uh, madali na ngayon, especially meron tayo na tawag na MCI. Just to share with you, yung may nangyari na papunta ng yung mga sundalo. Especially yung mga sundalo, tumatag mo madaling araw eh. Nahulog doon sa may matnog. So madali yung communication because of the BHF. So ngayon, yung iba naman na dream office, malapit doon. And then yung pag ng information to other hospitals, mas madali. Next po. So ito yung mga fabricated IEC materials for uh, kasama na yan lahat, all hazards. So ito yung isa ng mga pinapakita natin doon sa may 4 kilometer danger zone. So yan ang mga isang uh, part na nga natin, uh, IEC. Sabi niya ang like, asa sa amin doon na I think I do not know kung saan yung PILG. Bakit tarp kayo? Laki yung anong nangada nyo ng 5%. So ngayon, binago na namin. We have already the metal talaga. Kaya matagal-tagal. Next po. So ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na yung public address na component ng aming uh, FM radio. Opo, nakaano lang siya. May apat sila. So, ayun, yun ang isa namin. This is, uh, I think, kahit may birthday si Kapitan, madali yung information. Even about, uh, even, even the information is uh, uh, hindi doon sa threat or sa hazard. Uh, they, can, they can use the, uh, the public address. Next one. 
And this is already the what we are doing right now with the hazard maps, the map, uh, uh, ano namin is, linagay na namin yung mga bahay para mas madali na just have an advanced information. Kasi ito, nagiging dagdag pa sa information because you have all the members of the family, makikita natin dyan yung tiyatawag natin ng mga elderly at kung sino yung mas vulnerable doon sa bahay na yun. Kaya, mas madali yung tindinahan natin na ano, if we have the information, mas madali. Halimbawa, the threat is uh, alert level 1 or possible itong mga malalapit sa vulkan. So you can browse the nearest uh, nearest uh, barangays within bar uh, Bulusan Volcano. So makikita mo na yung mga nandiyan. So you can give already advanced information na ganito, meron kayong ganito ng mga elderly doon. So kailangan uh, si M-Dream Office naman makikipag-coordinate kay Barangay Chairman. So, yun ang reference namin that we have already the tinatawag na RCBMS because they are already uh, uh, tawag dyan, yung sa CLUP. Ito lang po, na-advance lang namin na may picture kasi mayroong mga OGT na hindi na namin pinapunta sa, sa office, doon na lang kung sa barangay. Pinakuha namin ng picture at itong ginawa namin. So, this is another example doon. Pero hindi pa ito lahat. But yung mga bahay na yan, meron na kami because of the RCBMS. Yung mga bawat, bawat pangalan. Next po. So that is part of the ating mga preparedness. Ito yung sinasabi namin na risk assessment. So we have already the population inside the different uh, yung, uh, uh, kilometers away from Bulusan Volcano after nung 4 kilometer permanent danger zone. So ito ang meron tayo halimbawa, the whole, the whole, para, uh, the whole population will be evacuated doon sa Pindra. Ito na yung nandun. At you just multiply for how many days doon sila sa evacuation center. Okay, next. <clears throat> so this is already the hazard map. So ngayon, ang ano sa amin ni Gov, uh, maghanap kami ng mapa at binigis niya kami galing sa Nambria to look into the more uh, the major rivers na nandun. And right now, uh, na trace na namin lahat yung, including the tributaries na papunta doon and especially yung mga concern natin na pag nagbaha. So kung wala lang kami dito ng pictures but if you visit uh, Sorsogon, doon sa may mga like uh, it erosin sin huban yung diba yung ilog doon. So meron tayong mga ongoing projects na inano yung mga uh, river walls para in case na meron tayong mga pagbabaha Ma manadali yung pag-flow ng, ng, uh, ng tubig at hindi masyado maka-apekto doon sa mga uh, uh, rice fields and other uh, population or yung barangays natin. Kaya ngayon, lahat ng mga tributaries including the major rivers and very specific dito sa may bulusang vulcano, kung going po yung mga construction dyan ng mga uh, river control. Wala lang kaming nalagay uh, na picture. I just want to emphasize the, yung nakalagay kasi doon sa manual, extended to 2 kilometers. Hindi naman po yan lahat, just only because of uh, three, uh, we have only 3 barangays with, uh, with an extension na uh, extend yung 2 kilometers because I think we have 5 bends na possible dito sa isang bend, pwedeng lumabas yung uh, labasan ng ano, ni Bulgan. Kaya Yung 2 kilometers na, na hindi naman po sa lahat after 2 kila after ng permanent, permanent danger zone. Dito lang po sa may barangay kag ng Bulusan, we have uh, San Roque in Bulusan and Mapaso. Dalawa sa Irusin. Kalimutan ko yung isang barangay yan. We have 3 barangays. Yun ang extended na 2 kilometers. So yun, dun lang po yung extension na. Hindi naman lahat na nga. Eh. Next po. So ito yung mga kanina na-explain ni Ma'am April regarding with the map. And ito yung mga nandiyan na mga bahay dyan na mga malalapit after ni 4 km daily store. Yun ang binabros namin ngayon at dinadagdag namin doon sa hazard map to know the different uh, population at risk. So all the hazard maps are already given to the different LGUs para meron din silang reference and then sa barangay during their uh, information dissemination. Next one. So that is also that is uh, still part of the uh, hazard maps. Uh, okay. Next. Oh, 
sa lahat pala ito yung mga maps, na, maps natin para mapakita natin this is part of the information. Kasi kanina pinag-usapan natin na kahit sa Mayun and then sa Bulusan na the information kailangan na kailangan malaman ng bawat uh, sa community. Kaya this is part of the uh, information papunta daw sa mga barangay. Sige po. Next. So this is the lately lang ito na makikita yung nakakamask pa eh. Yung atin na pag uh, ng, uh, bulusan na uh, volcano. So nag-meet ulit tayo. Meron naman tayo mga bago na mga PNP including the uh, ito yung mga resources natin. So kung makikita nyo na dyan lahat So this is the alternate emergency operation center. Okay, ah, kompleto kami. So this is also a requirement. Kasi kung ano mo yung existing mo na IOC, saan kayo pupunta? Or vice versa. So you have uh, kailangan daw yung dalawa para you can plan it out during. So meron kayong parang evacuation center for in behalf of the operation center. So ito po ang location niya is in Erosi, it is the second district. We're in. Nandun yung bulusan mo kayo. Kaya dyan na kami mismo nag-meeting. So we have already the Alternate Emergency Operation Center. And ang treatment namin every time that we have the threat ng bulusan volcano, when we talk about the IMTs, we are... Uh, ang ginagamit namin is yung area command because every municipality, they have the existing uh, IMT. So, balik tayo sa ICS we use the area command. So meron kami dito sa probinsya. So meron siya na bawat uh, mga LG. Next po. So IMT and ICS being used for response. So ito na yung part na pag meron tayong uh, uh, tawag dyan yung type of quiz. So this is already part of the distribution. And even pag, pag meron tayong nagkataon na nag, nagkaroon ng priatic, minsan hindi sila makana because they have to clean their house. Tika yun ang mga kailangan. Eh. So, we have to deliver some uh, relief goods. And then, through DROMIC naman with cooperation or coordination with the DSWD, we use the DROMIC form kasi meron naman silang listahan doon. So, mas madaling mabilang kung sino yung affected na mga families or individuals. Sige po. Next po. So ito yung mga, actually, aside from the face mask, uh, we suggest before, and even until now, yung, ano ba, yung, obo yung, yung trapo, uh, yung towel. So we use, and then, yung kampay namin sa Department of Education, pag nag-uusap kami, yung may mga, yung mga parents, mabaunin lang na gano, kasi hindi ka useful yun eh. Sa mga, sa mga school naman, Pinapanin lang sila ng mga tawel kasi pwedeng malabahan. Oh, <laughs> yung mga tawel is yun. Yan ang isang inara namin. And dual purpose eh. Kung walang, wala namang vulkan, yung ano, sa, sa likod, nagagamit ng mga student. So, at saka nalalabahan naman. So, pwede pang magamit. But this is part of, in case of meron nga, para hindi natin pagano, pagano yung mga bata. Kaya face mask and towels. Next po. So this is part of now. We have a lot of evacuation centers, and thanks for the OCD and the VWS. We have three of them. Three, five. I think we have already five uh, evacuation centers. So this po is a bulus of uh, Huban. The Huban is intended for the recommendation of us in Huban. I said to Huban, it's not only for Huban, because if the effects of the bulus of volcano is Malak malawak. So we will be using, hindi naman apektado yung Huban, we will be using the Huban Evacuation Center for Erosi. Kaya lang, yung pinaplano namin minsan na hindi natin may wasan because of the, I think mamaya sa mga pa meron tayo niya tawag na sabi nga April, yung wind, may changes. So kaya doon sa mga text blocks namin, we need to explain, uh, we need to inform the dream officer kasi minsan, malay mo, pag pumutok siya, Uh, south southwest monsoon alin yung mga part na community na pwedeng maapektuhan so therefore ayun uh, the only problem is paano kung hanggang huban umabot ng Sorosogon City yung effect ng uh, ano so those are the things na ano namin na 
by means of coordination with other LGU na pwede natin na ma-adapt kung saan namin pwede transfer yung mga apektuan ng mga population or individuals. Okay? Next po. Now, every time na during our preparation ng uh, disaster preparedness manual protocol for volcanic eruption, this is one of the na, na ano ko sa, sa OCD that every time na meron tayong mga trend or nandiyan na yung effects, sabi ni OCD sa amin, sa amin, they always asking kung nakapadala na kami ng request. Sabi ko nung during our preparation, pwede ba natin na balik na rin na natin since nakamonitor naman kayo sa amin to all the provinces and especially to the iconic, iconic mga threats. Huwag na natin na ano yung letter. Balik na rin na natin. Kayo na yung magbigay sa amin when kayo pupunta because yung susi ng helicopter or any ano, assets, air assets, nandiyan sa inyo. So sabi nila, I think eh, yun lang ang isa nga natin dito na instead of mag-request kami sa OCD for a health ng aerial uh, survey or aerial ano, sila na ngayon yung magbibigay sa amin when. So we will be coordinating with OCD. Sila na yung mag-facilitate sa TOG5. So ito ang ginagawa namin. So before mag- ano, nakikita muna namin kung saan yung possible na ano, para alam din ng pilot kung saan ang lipat sa ano, including the ano muna kaya mas alam nila kung saan sila dadaan next po ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na coordination with the different uh, LGU so kung meron kami na nangyari Hanggang doon sa pinakadulo-dulo ng aming, yung makikita nyo yung kilometers na yan. We are fully coordinated with the different teams para may ready din namin kung saan kami pwede pumunta na abuti ng effect ng bulusag volcano. So kung tinatawag natin kanina na Alpha, Bravo, and then Charlie, doon sa critical, hanggang sa kami pupunta. So therefore, Ito yung isang uh, mapa at mapapakita kung saan yung mga effects. At doon naman kami sa, sa, sa part ng uh, LGU na hindi aabutin. So halimbawa, nasabi ko nina, because of the uh, wind direction, for example, um, ha, um, the wind is coming from northeast. So most probably, ang mga apektuhan niyan is part ng bulan possible na umabot pa ng mas bate. The time of 2011, I think umabot ng mas bate pag northeast. So ngayon, mapunta kami dito sa my north, going to Hubad or Kasigurad. So do, kaya, kaya napaka-importante na nabibigyan kami kaagad ni pag-asa as early as 5 o'clock in the morning, kaya malalaman na natin kung saan yung wind uh, direction. So ngayon, kung mapunta siya, ang galing ang nasabi ni pag-asa is northeast, Ang effect niyan is going to bulan, uh, part ng erosin. So yun mas probably kung magputok. Halimbawa ngayon. So alam namin, yung possible na ano ng, uh, yung response namin is apuntang Hubad, Siguran, and the rest in Barcelona. Kaya kailangan natin na almost kung titingnan mo, more, meron lahat na component doon when we talk about response. Di pag-asa, gibas di ano kung saan yung win para makita din natin kung paano yung response plan at, at uh, execution. Next po. Kaya naka-importante naka, naka yung mapa. So these are the, sabi kanina na river channel. So na, 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 na digitize na namin lahat ng rivers through the help of Namria kasi na, nakakuha si Gong binigay sa amin. So na-trace out namin yung mga tributaries and now there are major rivers ngayon na ongoing yung mga river walls ka para yan kasi yung isa na pinupuntahan ni ano ni yung tawag natin na Lahar. So far last uh, Tisoy sa amin, sa amin dumaan. So therefore we are anticipating that the rainfall and then the wind masyadong malakas. But so far naman yung mga nandiyan na mga deposit sa bulusan volcano sa aming assessment parang matitigas na sila it's already you know, uh, forming the ano ng bulusan volcano it's part already of the uh, cone so hindi man bumaba we don't have any records uh, regarding with deposit na uh, lahar tumas lang yung tubig definitely because of the rainfall so kung titingnan mo yung mga deposits nila diyan matitigas na 
Next one. I think this is the uh, source of citizen hotline. This is also the project of the governor. Na lahat ng mga threat, emergency, si ano, si si Bulkan, lahat na, lahat na nandyan. Kaya we have already established the 911 source of God citizen hotline. So we increase more uh, tong mga equipment para mas madali and madali yung referral kung saan para mas madali din yung response. So Nagdagdag din namin doon sa ISO na before na we are running for 20, kila, uh, 20 minutes, we lessen it to, down to 8 minutes na lang basta malapit doon at madali yung coordination at matitrigger nila kagad yung naisishare nila yung information. Kasi yung 911 is not only, we are, we are not the only one running case of emergency but we have the fire, we have the different uh, response agencies including the the uh, local dream office. Sila po yung kasama namin, including the hospitals. Kaya nakakonek lahat. It's not only, by the way, it's not only with uh, using the BHF. Kung may component kasi siya na cellphone, kaya madali yung line. Tsaka may, mayroong pagtatawag niya na parang virtual na you can uh, na di, during the emergency. Kaya yun ang component ng 911. Mas hindi mo dapat, hindi ka dapat magtulong. Okay, next. Next one. Ito po yung uh, very basic na definition ng social good 911. Sa amin po, nandoon yung 911 sa office namin. May, meron kami doon na that is the dispatch. So pagtawag doon, direct na po yan. Uh, forward to the different agencies. So kasama na po dyan si mga LDREAM and then others na uh, mga national uh, NGAs kasama din namin. And also now we have already given the Bureau of Fire kasi uh, then, then sa Sursogon City para matest din namin yung ano, kasi hindi makagandagan siya na eh, PNP sa different LGUs. So sa urban, si City meron kami and then the provincial uh, PNP and also the provincial fire. So ito yung location ng 911 doon lang sa office namin. Next po. Ay, wala na pala. So this is, this is this is more on the the tawag natin na uh, just to show you the documentation that we have for the preparation. Kung makikita naman ninyo yung proseso doon sa manual, you can browse it already. Gusto ko lang na kasi doon hindi mo makikita kung paano ginagawa. Ito naman kasi yung result. Ito naman yung documentation namin na pinapakita na before that Ito yung ginagawa namin para yun mailagay namin doon sa libro. Kaya just uh, browsing the manual, ito yung kung paano namin ginawa and then nailagay namin sa manual. So again, thank you very much. Uh, kami na invitahan at isa na ko ni Boss Champ. Pwede ba pala Zoom? Kaya <laughs> <laughs> isa na ako. Kaya thank you. Again, thank you very much and good morning. And maraming maraming salamat po, Engineer Dendi Di Maano, for that very comprehensive discussion. Ayan. All right, we are almost nearing the end of our ceremony. Uh, but let me just ask you, sir, with how our program is going so far, uh, what has been your takeaways? Ayun, ako uh, talaga, I think, um, hindi lang ako, no? I think, at, at pati na din yung ating mga LGUs, ay madami talagang natutunan for our activity this morning. Kanina nga, no, sa discussion ni Engineer Radan Didi Maano, uh, in-include din sa kanyang discussion yung mga um, innovative practices uh, ng Provincial Government of Sorsogo na pwede, pwede ding i-replicate ng ating mga LGUs. Well, for me, I am so optimistic that this won't be the last time that we will be launching something like this that will surely be very beneficial to the people. Yes, and I think uh, really the, the, the meaning of this activity today is really the collaboration among the different stakeholders. And I think we realize natin that we, re we can really learn a lot from the years of experience and expertise <laughs> ng ating mga DRM practitioners, kagaya ng mga D PDRMOs ng Albay and Sorsogon. Kaya once again po, maraming maraming salamat, Engineer Aden, for joining us here face-to-face. -face. At syempre kay Engineer Cedric po, ano, na talagang uh, not feeling well pa ngayon, pero he really made time para maka makasama po siya sa atin this morning. Ayan, at this point po, ayan, syempre, um,
the, the development of the manual would not have been possible without the support of um, our LCEs. Kaya naman po, uh, to give us a message in behalf po of um, Governor Al Francis C. Bachara of the Provincial Government of Albay, we have with us today to give a message po si Dr. Cedric Daem. And once again po, uh, welcome, Dr. Cedric. Hi, sir. Good morning po. All right. Ayun, I think um, may, may bahagi naman na ni Doc Cedric yung mensahe niya. No? So, Tama ka dyan, Ceds. Uh -huh. So I think uh, we will proceed uh, to the provincial government of um, Sor Subon. Ayan. To share with us his words of appreciation, Governor Francis Joseph G. Escudero um, sent us a video message. <clears throat> And our apologies for, for the typographical errors. Ayan. So uh, Governor Bichara couldn't um, deliver his message to us right now, no? Pero uh, nung tinurn over ni PD Arnel, uh, yung manual doon sa Office of the Provincial Government, talagang he extended then um, his words of appreciation to DILG and of course to our partner stakeholders sa pagbuo nitong manual na ito. So I, I know that he is also truly grateful na uh, nakasama natin ang Provincial Government of Albay sa napaka-importanteng um, undertaking na ito. Ayan, kaya naman ngayon, Mark, pakinggan natin ang mensahe uh, from Governor Escudero. Ito po si Cheese Escudero. Nais kong sabihin naging isang malaking karangalan para sa amin ang maging bahagi at makapagbigay ng ambag sa paggawa ng isang manual para sa preparedness sa volcanic eruption dito sa Bicol. Ito'y may kaugnayan sa pagputok ng bulkang bulusan sa mga nagdang panahon. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagkakataon at maraming maraming salamat din sa kaalaman na aming nakuha mula sa karanasan ng iba't ibang PDRRMO at MDRRMO dito sa Bicol Region. Sa paglabas ng manual na ito, hangarin at layunin natin na mapalaganap ang kaalaman kung ano nga ba ang mga dapat at pwedeng gawin at sa darating na panahon, ano pa ang pwede natin madagdag sa kaalamang ito para matugunan ang pangunahing mga pangailangan ng ating mga kababayan kung sakasakaling darating ang sakuna at kalamidad kaugnay ng pagputok na anumang bulkan dito sa ating rehiyon. Sa muli, magandang araw at tanggapin po ninyo ang aming taus-pusong pagbati at pakikisa. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, Governor Cheese, for that message. At this juncture, to officially close today's program, may I call on Ulderico S. Rizal Jr., the OIC Assistant Regional Director of DILG Region 5 Office. Thank you, uh, Mr. and Ms. MC. <laughs> uh, good morning, once again. Uh, before we head on the second part uh, of today's activity, let me give uh, my sincerest appreciation to the people behind the launching of this uh, disaster preparedness manual on protocols for volcanic eruption uh, for making it a success, especially to our very hardworking and energetic regional director, Attorney Anthony Sinoida. Palapakanda po siya. Uh, for motivating the team in coming up uh, with this manual. Uh, of course, to our sincerest thanks also to Governor uh, uh, Chisis Cudero of Sosogon for gracing our activity this morning. Likewise, uh, to my batch from the local government academy, Kung Anjampa, si uh, LGA Assistant Regional uh, Assistant Director, Daphne Pornell, to our presenters, uh, Dr. Cedric Daep of Albay Public Safety and Emergency Management Office, or the APSIMO, um, Ma'am April Angelic uh, Dominguiano, Bulusan Resident Volcanologist, and uh, Engineer Den Didi Maano, the PDRMO of Sorsogon. And of course, K Sir Champ, where's Champ? 
Yon, uh, for um, an insightful sharing of your of their knowledge and uh, expertise on the topics presented. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And of course, uh, to our uh, DLG family here, we have here our uh, two division chiefs, uh, Sister Olig and si Ma'am Ruth. And uh, of course, the PDs, uh, we have uh, PD Julius and uh, the representative of PD Arnel, Madredeo Balbay, and the uh, representative of uh, PD uh, Ben Paul of Masbate, si, uh, CH uh, Kai and um, Dudes. Um, and to all uh, the participants, uh, online participants, sa inyo pong lahat, again, uh, good morning. Uh, we all know that uh, Region 5 possesses the key ingredients for the disaster to brew. Kung sa kape, three in one. We have tectonic, atmospheric, and volcanic disasters. I, by the way, we have also here our uh, uh, partner from the OCD, sorry ma'am, uh, the uh, representative of the Director Yukut. We have uh, ma'am Carla Mandangit and uh, Jaja Dilarama. Sorry ma'am. Um, as I've said, uh, we have, uh, kung sa kape three in one, ang Bicol, uh, atmospheric, tectonic, and volcanic disasters. Uh, Hardland lessons from the past tells us that we are not prepared enough. Through this, I think through this manual uh, of uh, preparedness on uh, volcanic eruption, the general public will be guided on the specific actions to be undertaken to mitigate the adverse effects of volcanic eruptions. The goal of crafting this manual truly is to strengthen the capacities of the local government units and the communities to become more resilient, flexible, and empowered before, during, and after the calamities. I believe that disaster preparedness is based on compassion for ourselves, as well as compassion for others at the height of emergencies and uh, crisis. If we are prepared, we can help secure and save the lives and properties of our people. As I leave the noteworthy quotation from Jan Kilian, preparedness is the only way we can combat a natural disaster. The list of thank yous doesn't end here. Once again, let me invite you all to join us for the second part of today's activity this afternoon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Keep us, uh, keep safe everyone and God bless po. Thank you. Thank you very much, ARD June. Wow, what a productive day it has been for all of us that we started. Na nandito tayo ngayon to uh, launch the Disasters Preparedness Manual. And also, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating guests na naririto ngayon, pre presented as well as to our participants and guests as well who are on board via Zoom. Ayun, mar maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat. At ayan, mamayang hapon po, no, meron pa din po kaming isa pang uh, very important activity which is the launching of uh, the Bicol LGRRC facilities. Sa ating pong mga MLGOs at mga LDRMOs na joining via Zoom, iniimbitahan po namin kayo na na uh, samahan kami sa aming uh, launching ng Bicol LGRRC facilities. Uh, gagamitin po natin yung the same Zoom meeting details na ginamit natin ngayon for this morning activity. At also po, uh, ang aming activity din ay live sa aming Facebook page ng DILG Region 5. So yun lamang po, Mark. Yes po. This has been Mark A. Barayoga. And this is Maria Mercedes A. Delenia. Maraming, 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 maraming salamat. salamat.